Well, my friends, here we go again. As always, today a versus video again. Very nice one. The Wilson Forge Pro against the Spoiling Elite Neverflat. We are here at the airport court again, but we play the other side. Yeah, the side what we used the last year and last year before, and on and on. You know, because they rebuilt everything new, and now we can check it out. The good part today is it's dry, yeah, it's not wet, it is a wonder, but uh, it is a lot of dirt in and it's a lot of traffic today here. Yeah, you may see it now. We have all those small little uh, woods in here. On every side, yeah, and you have a feeling for that. You see that? So, that is today, but the sun is there. By condition we will come and there is someone playing behind we had never this have you ever seen someone playing in my videos on the courts <laughs> unbelievable or so we will check it out let's do it Today we battle it out. Wilson Forge Pro against the Elite Never Flat. Here on this side we have maybe the champion for the indoor outdoor composite balls. Yeah, it is a contender. And here we have the most expensive ball of the Elite series, you know, from the Never Flats. So it's called. There is the Hex, the Max, the Pro, and this is the Elite, the most expensive one. And there is another one, the Premier, which costs the same as this. So now we have to battle it out. And the other difference is the ventil on the Never Flat series. You cannot pump in air. You can do it, but then you lose the warranty. And it has a complete other sound. You hear that? So we compare this. And here we will find out if this is our new champion. If he beats ball after ball in the versus video. Let's do it. So here we have the Elite Never Flat. It weighs in at 590 grams and it's the most expensive ball of the Never Flat series. $45. And here we have the Wilson Forge Pro. We are not in the sun now, but doesn't matter. It weighs in at 590 grams and it costs $60. Very expensive ball, but when you have seen my first impression video tier 500 axle against this ball in the snow yeah then you know this is an absolute top contender ball we have to check it out so let's the battle begin of two balls i have an opinion right now but as always we have to check it out welcome to the jungle of balls let's battle it out So now we start it, but we play the other side because there is not that much dirt in. It's better now for to compare it in correct way, you know. And do not forget the conditions. It has around three degrees, yeah, and a little bit wind and really, really fresh. But as always, we have three polars.
For the lonely hearts For the ones that feel the dark You better run out, run out, out of here Bet you can look the other way Here's one for the broken road That's the only one you know You better run out, run out, truth or dare Get me out, take me anywhere but here So now we come to the jumping and the grip. First, the jumping. Of course, Forge Pro Wilson, Elite, never flat, spoiling. I think here you have seen it clear. The Forge Pro jumps higher. I have expected that. And you hear the sound. Yeah, the sound is all complete different with this Nitro Flate Molle Kuss, what they say. Here this has one with the jumping. And this feels really nice. But this also goes. It's a lower ball, but not that low that you say, oh, this is not good. No, it's still okay. But the problem here, I told this once, is you get the ball. Yeah, and you have you are not allowed to open the valve, you know, I always call it the needle normally So here you see there is no uh, Hole in it is closed. Yeah, maybe you see it now So you can open this and then you can fill in also air, but there you have to be very carefully Not like the others bump 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 only one two test it but when you do that, you lose the warranty. One year warranty after you buy it. And there starts the problem. Because I don't know how long this ball was in the shop, how long this ball was in the factory, wherever, you know what I mean. If this ball is uh, half a year old and then I buy it, of course there is not that much air in it. And normally I pump up my balls a little bit more than this, yeah, but I will not open it. And the other problem what we had was I don't know if this was right or not, but you have seen it. You will have the same problem. I put it out and then I have seen this was not straight. There was a wobble. It was standing out. Yeah, but I didn't want to damage it because, you know, there stands no warranty when you open it. And then after all the playing in the Never Flat Ball series when the snow was in, I was only doing a little bit so and then I said, oh wow, I pressed it in and then it was completely perfect. If this is right or not, I don't know. I got it with this out, yeah? So maybe we have the same problem. Yeah, but it's still okay with the jumping. And now the grip test. So we come to the grip test. We start with the never flat. I can hold it, but uh, I tell you it has not the best grip. Even if you think now, wow, great, yeah? On the lines, it is more difficult to me, on the channels, to grab it, yeah? But on the panels, I can hold it, but not that good. That looks better now than it is, yeah? I have very hard to grab it, yeah? Now the Forge Pro. You see? On the channels, I have no chance. Channel channel again on the panels yeah that you see it here I have a little bit better but you see I have it very difficult so 
this is a really more slippery ball yeah but the feeling you will, we will come to this is very very nice but from the grip alone I would go with this but don't expect it like wow I can hold it and this and that no there are other balls in the game but a little bit in favor of the never flat yeah so now we go on with the other ball friends now I made a decision the final decision I've played both together as always now yeah without the video and I've played the boys more often now I always tell you you have to play them really often that you can say something so we come to the never flat it is a nice ball yeah the thing is it is different than other boys and I think you have to get used up to this especially the sound listen you hear that that is this bing 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 yeah like uh, when you play tennis then you know when you have no vibration on it makes all the same sound bang bang but the thing is when you play a few balls with it then you didn't you don't hear it anymore and I don't like the sound yeah I'm someone who really don't like this sound but when I play it I don't have a feeling for it you know for the sound it is not there only when you go from a normal ball to this and then the first dribblings you think what is this what is this and I think when you are on the court and you come with a never flat and all other people have normal balls and you say we play with this they will tell you no yeah that I can think also the construction here is other than other balls it's a little bit a little little bit uh, like the Wilson NCAA not complete but a little bit but here you don't feel anything yeah, that is really good made even if you see uh, it is a little bit uh, it goes in 
but it's really good made so the all over construction is really good the grip is a little bit there yeah not too much but a little bit is there the lines have a little bit babbling but they are other than others yeah the channels are yeah they feel different because uh, it goes a little bit upwards you have the feeling for that you know what i mean here and a little bit upwards so a little bit other than other balls but overall a very good ball the price 45 yeah i think it's okay the jumping is still there but i don't know i have no not trust into this system but in the end you can put it away but i think for outdoor it also lasts you know we have played a few balls on the hardcore court with the stones and you don't see the scratches in here yeah? we played it when it was wet when it was snow so i think really good yeah and yeah that's what i can tell you so yeah the other ball the wilson forge pro also this ball it is more a flat ball it has channels but they are not deep they are more white yeah but it feels more like a, a flat ball yeah if you like channels where you really have one it is difficult because maybe you see they are very very white yeah but not deep so the lines really good there is nothing you see no transition only here but that is really perfect mate only a little, little 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 bit but really nice the overall feeling it is a more harder ball of course but the babbling is really fine yeah this is for outdoor ball a perfect fine feeling yeah it's still rough that it lasts you see that it's not used up we also played it when there was snow and really really good mate we played it on asphalt in the tunnel yeah so nice the grip is not that much yeah so you cannot hold it there but when you dribble it you have a good feeling and the throwing is also very nice the weight is good and the jumping is a little bit higher than this and when you dribble it you feel wow that is good that is a good ball yeah so we have those two balls and now we have to make our final decision so final decision as always forge pro elite never flat which ball has won it is this ball the wilson forge pro has won today our day battle court is rubber yeah new rubber why because the overall feeling is better when you compare it together you feel wow this is much more nice but the other one is also good but with special things yeah but this ball really really good you dribble it good the feeling is nice yeah it's uh, not rough the weight is good the jumping is good the dribbling so really a top contender for the top spot so today the forge pro has won and now the forge pro has to battle it out with other top contenders and then we will see if in the end he goes up to the df 500 axle our best indoor outdoor composite ball we had a first impression when we compared those together yeah you know that but now he has to beat ball after ball and at the end we will see if they those two boys will battle again so we see us next time until always bye and ciao